To generate a new showing, click the Add a Showing button. This will bring up all active listings and a map display of their locations. You can scroll through the property list or search for a property via MLS number or address. You are also able to zoom in and out of the map view, and clicking on a listing number on the map selects the checkbox for the corresponding property in your list. Once the property's checkbox is selected, click the Schedule Showing button. A new window with the property information will open, which will prompt you to select a date and a showing type. Once you click Next, it will ask you for a time. Note that you can drag and drop the times as needed, as well as set the showing time between 10 and 60 minutes. Any times that are unavailable will be marked in red. You will also have the option to add a message before sending the request. The Messaging Center maintains the message history for our listing so you can review all previous requests from there. Listing agents can confirm or reject showing requests by finding the request on their calendar, the alerts page, or by going to My Listings, selecting a listing, and using the View Showing button. Any member of your team enabled in your settings is able to approve or reject a showing request. If the request is denied, you can add a message explaining the reason. One handy feature is that clients are also able to approve showing requests via aligned showings, either by text or email. Agents can attach a seller's information to a listing via the My Listings page. Accepted requests automatically display on the calendar and within the Messaging Center. The My Listings page is where you can make edits to our showing instructions for each of your listings. The pencil icon will allow you to make edits, whereas the broadcast icon will only appear once you've had showings on a listing. Clicking on the broadcast icon will allow you to send out a one-time message to all the showing side agents for this listing. The pencil icon will allow you to make edits to the showing instructions for your listing. Here, we can choose if the property is allowed to make showings on aligned showings, if you allow overlapping appointments and the length for the appointment. You can set up instant approval or if it requires approval and enter an instant message that immediately gets sent out to agents who request a showing. You can also set up lockbox access from here if you have a Century Lock lockbox set up on the property and your showing arrangement if the agent or seller will accompany, and we can enter in additional instructions. The next tab is the Office Involvement tab where we can add team members from our office to our listing and give them instructions. Seller and tenant involvement will allow us to add a seller or tenant's phone number and email address and that way they can approve showings just like you could as well. Time and date restrictions allows you to add restrictions, including recurring restrictions, to your showings in case you will be busy and unavailable for showings during specific times of the day. The last section is Feedback Survey. Here is where you can manage and make edits to the Feedback Survey specifically for one individual listing. Once you're finished, make sure you click the Done button and it will take you back to My Listings. Your showings calendar can be customized to your preferences. Choose to display by the day, week, month, or a custom time frame. You can search for showings by address or agent, and filter by appointment role or appointment status. Clicking on an appointment, you can add it to your Google and Outlook calendars by selecting more details and using the Add to Calendar dropdown. 